Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a geode skirt. For this one, we're going to get right into the good part. So if you've watched me tie up one geode, well, you've watched me tie up them all. I think we all have a certain way of doing things. I do have a standalone video on just the tying process, and for the most part, that's how I tie up all of my geodes. I will put a link on the end screen for the video if you haven't seen it before, or you can just go onto my channel and search um, how to tie up a geode, and you can find the video that way. So for this skirt, I'm doing the dye under ice method, and I'm just gonna stripe out various shades of green. The goal for this skirt is for it to be sort of like a, like an earthy green skirt. I don't want a bunch of really bright neon greens. I want it to have sort of a real natural feel to it. I wish I would have had a little more forest green for this one, but that's okay because I have other greens that I can choose from. For the setup, I have a tote, and then this is um, expandable, uh, like over the sink strainer that I got from the Hobby Lobby. They were on clearance when I got them, so I don't know if they were just trying to get rid of their stock or what, but go ahead and check out their website and see if you can find one. They are really good for like these smaller geode type projects. I love the over the sink strainers. This is just another variety of that. I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. I'm going to be adding quite a bit of ice to this project, so I want to make sure that the pH stays up around 10.5 to 11 in the natural cotton fibers. And then I add my ice, and I'm just going to fill up the strainer. And I like to add enough ice to where I don't see any of the fabric showing through. And then I'm just going to set the project aside, and I'm going to let it batch for 48 hours at 70 degrees after the ice melts. Just make sure you at least try to go for the full 24 hours, especially when you're working with greens because they have turquoise in them, and turquoise needs the maximum amount of heat and batch time to really bond with the natural fibers. Because I let my project batch for the full 48 hours, it's not 100% dry, but it's also not sopping, dripping wet. So what I've been doing is untying my project before I do the rinse out, and it makes it a lot easier for me to untie it. It's less messy. So give that a try and see if it works for you. All right, once I get it untied, for the rinse out, I start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric, and then I increase the water to hot, and I rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. And this is like a gauze type material, so it really wants to hold on to the dye and just sucks up the water. Once I have it rinsed out, I take it to the washing machine, and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirilon, which is a professional textile detergent. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft, and Millsoft is a professional fabric softener, and I get both of those from Dharma Trading Company, and you will find the links for those down below in the description box, along with everything else that I use for tie-dye, so I recommend that you check that out. And because this material is that soft, sort of gauzy, just it feels delicate type of material, I'm going to put it into a garment bag or linen bag, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, um, and put that in my washing machine just to try to help keep from any tears um, getting into the fabric. We 
here it is guys. Here's my geode skirt after it's been washed and dried and I think it turned out really pretty. Um, I have a hard time working with greens because so many of them want to either go sort of like into like the baby poop yellow green color or they split down really into a bunch of bright turquoise colors. Whatever I did on this one, it's working. It's just very pretty. Um, it leans more towards the earth tone type look that I wanted versus like the bright neon greens. Um, and the style of the skirt is so adorable. So I made this for my sister back in late May, early June, and she got it up at Old Navy. So I'm, they probably don't have any more of these skirts now, but don't forget about your local Old Navy or even going online to check out their store because pretty much everything in there is cotton. So, um, especially during summertime with like their little skirts and summer dresses and stuff, they've got really cute styles. So I'm super pleased with the way this skirt turned out. So what do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!